We're looking at a list here, and it was prepared for printing purposes. Rather than having the department names being repeated in column A, we only see the department name at the beginning of the department. It makes it easier to read. However, if we sort this data and let's keep an eye, for example, on Robert Allen, who's in the ADC group, we're going to run into problems. It's simply with the active cell somewhere in column B here. Do a quick A to Z sort. That's sorting alphabetically, by the way, at the data tab. Here's the A to Z button. There it is. And look what's happened. These department names all seem to be pretty much clustered towards the top. And Robert Allen here, who is in the ADC group, is now in the operations group, looks like. We got a mess on our hands, right? Well, let's undo this with Control Z and use what we might call a trick here. What we really want to do is fill in all these with ADC and all these with admin tracking and so on and so on and so on. And how far down does this list go? 750 rows almost. Clicking column A, we're going to use a command which also has a keystroke shortcut. It's found on the Home tab. Find and select. Then click Go to Special. And there are lots of little treasures in here, including one for selecting blank cells. Click OK. And what's happened in column A is the blank cells, they're currently gray, have all been selected. And this does not occur anywhere else below the list. So we don't worry about all those empty cells below. We've got all of those empty cells selected. What we want to do with them is, in effect, have them contain whatever appears above them. So right now, the active cell is A3. So we write a formula, equal, and I'll simply click on A2. But we want the same relative formula to exist in all the other cells. So I won't press enter, but I'll press control enter. And every one of those cells is now equal to the cell above it. It's a pretty amazing shortcut when you think about it. Now we click column A and we want to get rid of those formulas again using a trick you might have seen in one of our earlier lessons. I'll point to the right hand edge, hold down the right mouse button and drag into column B. And then right back on top of column A releasing the right mouse button. Copy here is values only. So every one of these cells here has an actual department name in it. We're all set. But what if we wanted to print this list now and not show these? Let's say we don't want to get rid of them. We saw the problem there, but a little trick here. Let's simply make the font of these other cells be white. We're going to use some logic that says in effect for every one of these cells, if it is equal to the cell above it, that's true of most of these. But for example, not this one. When it's equal to the cell above it, let's just make its font to be white. We're going to start this with cell A2. And a quick way to highlight all of these is holding down the shift key control down arrow. Remember, A2 is the active cell, and we're going to use a feature called conditional formatting. It's found here in the Home tab, and none of these standard rules will actually work. So we go to New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula is simply equal A2 equal A1. And by interference, this means whenever the current cell is equal to the one above it, let's make the font to be white. Format, font style, color, white. Okay, okay. And there it is. The data is still there. I'll press control home. The data is there, you can see it in the formula bar of each one of these. And yet, when we print this, we won't see the others. 
Two different techniques using a number of shortcuts and tricks, you might say, to restore labels initially, bring them back, and also to hide them when we want to print out the information. If you found value in this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. If you have any questions or insights, please drop them in the comments below. I love seeing what you come up with. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next one.